Nico Williams destroys Barcelona and becomes Arsenal's latest target in the summer transfer window. And finally, long-term target Mikel Arteta, worth £52 million, is very close to accepting Arsenal's offer. Want to know all the details? Then follow me to the end of the video so you don't miss any important information. But before that, if you're also passionate about Arsenal, subscribe to the channel now and stay up to date with everything that happens behind the scenes at the Premier League's biggest team. Without further ado, let's get to today's updates. Arsenal may want to sign winger in the summer, and one of their reported targets just destroyed Barcelona to knock the La Liga champions out of the Copa del Rey. Barcelona, who have struggled in recent weeks, travelled to San Mams to face Athletic Club, where they encountered 21-year-old winger Nico Williams. Another former Arsenal target Jules Count was playing at right back against the left winger but simply could not handle him as he tore Chavez's side to shreds in a 4-2 victory after extra time. Mikel Arteta needs to add pace to his squad, and whilst Pedro Neto and Michael Olais have been linked, Williams could be a younger, cheaper and better option than both Premier League stars. Arsenal target Nico Williams delivers masterclass against Barcelona. The Spain international was described as superb in what was a glorious night for his team as they reached the Copa del Rey semi-finals in a dramatic game. Williams assisted Oihan Sansit's second-half equaliser to make the score 2-2, launching a perfect cross into the box for the midfielder to head home, and scored the clincher on 120 minutes with an outrageous outside boot shot which flew into the top corner. The winger also created five chances, registered five shots, won six ground duels and drew four fouls as his speed and flair proved fatal for Barcelona's chances in the cup. He was previously linked with Arsenal when his contract was set to expire at the end of this campaign, but signed a new deal earlier this season. However, his release clause still stands at £43 million. Arsenal should try to sign Nico Williams in the summer window. His release clause stands at a significantly lower price than Olay's and his ability to play on both wings makes him an even more useful squad option. Williams has been outstanding in attack, with 5 goals and 11 assists in 22 appearances across all competitions this season. He is a key player for Ernesto Valverde, and he still has the potential to improve even further. It is unclear whether he would be keen on a move to Arsenal, away from his boyhood club, but if he is, then a move is a no-brainer. He would provide serious competition for both Gabriel Martinelli and Bukayo Soccer, and add some much-needed speed to Arsenal's squad. Williams can both cut inside onto his right foot from the left, or hug the touchline on the right, and his crossing and dribbling ability could even go up another level. Arsenal seems ready to make purchases in the Basque region, as they have already shown interest in another player from that area, which we will discuss later in this video. So, stay with me until the end of the video to not miss this update. Arsenal receives an update on the future of Joshua Zerksy. Joshua Zerksy could soon arrive in the Premier League from Bologna with both Arsenal and Manchester United interested in acquiring his services. The former Bayern Munich star has scored eight goals from 22 appearances this season, which has alerted a number of clubs, especially with reports of a €40 million, Euros, £34.2 million summer clause. The Gunners, to many onlookers, are in need of a new striker with Gabriel Jesus and Edin Nketiah struggling to consistently provide the goals. Prior to the 5-0 demolition of Crystal Palace, Arsenal had managed just six goals in their previous eight games until a surprise scorer unlocked a major attacking strength that can be used by Arsenal. Two of the goals this past weekend came courtesy of Gabriel Mogales being found precisely from set pieces and going forward it is something the Gunners will undoubtedly aim to use again. However, it is not a long-term solution and its success rate, despite the joy found against Crystal Palace, is unlikely to be that high again. With that in mind, Xerxy has been linked as a much cheaper striker transfer alternative to the likes of Ivan Toney and Victor Osman. Both the Brentford and Napoli star are expected to be on the move this summer with Arsenal, alongside Chelsea, showing a keen interest in both. A January deal is very unlikely for Xerxy, but a transfer at the end of the season is a real possibility with Ben Jacobs providing an update on his situation. In terms of possible signings, there is plenty of interest in Bologna's Joshua Xerxy, he wrote on court offside. 
the 22-year-old has seven goals in 15 Serie A games this season. Arsenal and Man United are both tracking the Dutch forward with a view to the summer. Tottenham could also enter the race. There remains some confusion over Xerxes' 40 million euro summer release clause, but Bologna director Marco Di Ivo insists it is only valid for Bayern. A return to Bayern is unlikely but not impossible. Man United are the only Premier League club to date to begin any formative talks. As mentioned above, the Netherlands international being available for around £34 million is not possible for any club other than Bayern, which immediately gives them a huge advantage. Despite that, a minor increase on his asking price may still tempt the likes of Arsenal, Man United or Tottenham into pursuing the transfer, however the latest stance from Bologna will likely scare off suitors. In Wednesday's printed edition of La Gazzetta dello Sport, via Football Italia, the Italian club believes Xerxes is worth as much as Rasmus Hodgland. The young forward joined Manchester United in a deal worth €80 million, Euros, £72 million, and that lucrative move could now certainly be the benchmark used by all Serie A sides when Premier League teams come knocking for their star players. Mikel Arteta's long-term £52 million target now very close to accepting Arsenal offer. Arsenal have been heavily linked with Real Sociedad midfielder Martin Zubamendi for well over a year, but it now appears that they could end up signing him this summer. Zubamendi turned down moves to Arsenal and Barcelona before, choosing to stay with his boyhood club, and he helped them not only qualify for the Champions League, but also helped them reach the knockout stages. The 24-year-old has been outstanding in La Liga, and whilst it seemed unlikely that he would choose to depart despite Mikel Arteta's interest in the player, this may have now changed. Zubamendi has a £52 million release clause in his contract, and could be the perfect option to complete Arteta's ideal midfield trio alongside Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard. Martin Zubamendi too close to agreeing Arsenal deal. A report relayed by the Mirror has now claimed that the Spaniard is very close to agreeing to join Arsenal in the summer window, and fellow interested party Barcelona have turned their attention elsewhere as a result. It remains to be seen just how far along a potential deal is, but this is certainly a promising development, and those in Spain believe that the Basque-born star is set for a move to North London. He has made 173 appearances for Real Sociedad since making his La Liga debut in the 2018-19 season, scoring eight and assisting seven times from a defensive midfield position and has won both the UEFA Nations League with Spain and the Copa del Rey. Why does Mikel Arteta want Martin Zubimendi at Arsenal? Thomas Partey's injury issues have been a huge problem this season and the club may have finally lost patience and may be prepared to sell him in the summer. Zubimendi would be the perfect replacement for the 30-year-old and Arsenal's midfield would be ready for both next season and beyond. He would be reuniting with his former teammate in Odegaard, and his presence at the base of midfield would allow Rice to push further forward. Dorgino has impressed in recent appearances, with his intelligence and passing ability standing out despite his physical limitations. Zubimendi could add a similar level of composure on the ball and dictate the play from the middle of the park, whilst also adding yet more strength to Arteta's side. Should Arsenal complete a deal, it would help replace the void left by Granite Jucker, and perhaps lead to even better play in build-up in both attacking and defensive scenarios. Well, folks, those were today's news. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay informed about everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell so you won't miss any updates. Thanks for joining us, and see you in the next video.